Good morning all. Uh, my name is Mohan Bodke. I am from India. Uh, working as an assistant professor in Mukesh Patel School of Technology Management and Engineering, Mumbai. Uh, I am also a research scholar at Amit University. I am doing a PhD in Mechanical Engineering under the guidance of Dr. Sanju Sharma sir, Dr. Abdel Hamid Morat sir and Dr. P. B. Sharma sir. So I am going to present poster on accumulative to bonding a novel SPD method to develop nanostructured multilayer tube. In this poster, I, I am going to talk on the novel method of SPD that is accumulative to bonding. Uh, it is developed under the guidance of Dr. Sanju Sharma sir. So this is the process a novel method of SPD. So before explaining this poor process, I will talk on the extract, then aim and objective, introduction, then literature review uh, with related uh, process of SPD and conclusion. So this method is basically based on the concept of severe plastic deformation. Uh, basically severe plastic deformation is the best method for manufacturing bulk ultra fine grain and nanostructured materials with excellent property it will enhance the strength of the material okay enhance the strength of the material also the hardness hardness and mechanical properties will be improved so aim of this uh, uh, development development of this process is to develop the ultra fine grain nanostructure tube uh, and to analyze the reduction of weight to sustain the same stress to analyze the thermal conductivity then to analyze the electrical conductivity it means in short to improve this electrical as well as mechanical properties with the help of this process so this tube once this tube will be developed it will be used for many applications like uh, maybe uh, like boiler applications then uh, then th the thermal uh, thermal uh, applications then hydraulic applications so this uh, many of the researchers have worked on this tube channel angular pressing, equal channel angular pressing, and then then hydraulic high pressure torsion, accumulative roll bonding, then equal channel angular pressing, and many more methods. So these are the pictures of these methods. ECAP in ECAP method, this tube is passed through the die. This is the punch, and it is passed at uh, for this uh, at some angle. Then, then this tube will be produced. So this is the tube channel angular pressing, this is the parallel tube channel angular pressing and this is the uh, combined T-cap, then the tube cycling uh, pressing and this is the literature review behind this process. So in literature review it is found that strength is improved, okay. Also the so grain size is reduced. So in our process tube will pass to the die. So once it is passed to the die, length of the tube will increase. Also, that this thickness will reduce. Once thickness is reduced, it will be uh, cut into two pieces here, and in the one piece, expander will be passed through the expander. Once it is passed to expander, again internal thickness will be more as compared to the second tube, and then second tube will be passed in the first tube, so that this two layers will be formed in one side. Means total layers will be four. So this is in the one pass. If we do the, if we repeat this process in the uh, for so many passes, so it can be raised to the power n, uh, raised to the power n layer. So if it is done for uh, twelve passes, so it will be one zero two four layers. So we can see the how it is improved. So it will improve the strain in superplastic properties, plastic strain, corrosion resistance, lightweight, improve thermal conductivity, improve bursting pressure capacity. These are some application from the of this method and these are the references. So again, I would like to thank you uh, the this AFM conference committee for, for giving me chance to present my poster here. So this uh, novel SPD method of to bonding is a uh, is a method we, with which we can produce very high strain material uh, and it has very uh, very wide application this is having very wide application uh, 
in every field we can say these are the uh, this we can see this property is how it is improved these are some charts okay so i will write in details so uh thank you